Hi Cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my BoxyCharm box. So I got this card, which is a little different than what they usually give me. It has some coupons in the back and opens like this. And it just shows me all the products that I got in the box, their prices, and just a little description of what they do. So the first thing in the box is this Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. It's a pore purifying mask by Dr. Brandt. This retails for $47. As y'all know, I got really bad pores on my nose. Let's try this. So it's white and it has some blue beads in there. I'm going to apply this on my nose. As I'm applying it, I'm kind of mixing the beads. I've been having really bad pores on my cheeks too. So I'm just going to apply some here. I'm going to let this dry for 5 to 10 minutes, rinse it off, and then I'll be right back. And I'm back. There's a freaking fly. So I did notice a cooling sensation as I had the mask on, as it mentioned on the tube. Um, my nose does feel a little bit cool right now after I've rinsed off, but the rest of my face where I applied it, which is like around here, because I have like a lot of lor large, large pores there, feels really, really dry. So I'm going to apply some um, base lotion. Looks like I have a filter over my nose. Can't even see my pores, which is what the mask is supposed to do. I honestly didn't think the mask was going to work just because... I feel like the ones that dry and then you peel it off would work better. But this actually works really, really well. And I'm surprised because it wasn't like an exfoliator or anything. Would I pay $47 for this though? I don't know. I don't know. I would have to use this a couple times to see if my pores don't come back. I mean, this does look like a small bottle. But if you think about it, you only need a little bit. And you're only supposed to use it two to three times a week. So, could be worth it. I guess it's just... It depends on you, girl. What's your budget? I've been wanting to try the black pore mask where it dries and then you peel it off. But I heard that one really, really hurts. And I'm not sure what the price is on that. And I don't know if it works necessarily better than this. I really like this so far, but I'm going to try it after like a long day of sweating and being in the sun. And just being in the dirt, you know, so my pores are clogged. I know it sounds nasty, but that will put it to the test. If that works, I would say this is worth the $47, even though it's a tiny bottle. Now let's move on to the next product, which is this liquid highlighter from Tarte, Tarteist Pro Glow, Pro, Pro Glow. What did I say? This retails for $29, which is pricey for this little tube. I'm sorry, no. I would not pay $29 for for this little thing. Or girl, you know, you know me, I'm always balling on that budget. I guess there's three different shades. But I have the exposed. I think that's what it's called. So it says you can mix this with your highlighter to give you a more glowy, dewy look. So that's what I'm going to do. For foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal 24-hour foundation in fallible pro glow yeah pro glow oh they're both pro glow pro why can't i say pro glow there i said it um this is in caramel beige 209 i'm gonna put it on the back of my hand Ooh, ooh, i think i put too much oh, oh my god wow look how much freaking so I'm going to put some in my foundation. Kind of a thicker highlight, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Mix it with my beauty blender. It smells kind of weird. I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the highlight, but I think it's the highlight because I don't remember smelling this yesterday when I used this foundation. But it smells kind of like chemicals or sunscreen. Okay, that pour mask thing made my nose look super smooth i'm gonna go ahead and apply my setting powder bronzer blush and i'll be right back okay i got my face makeup on now i'm gonna apply more of this highlighter on the high points of my face and i use my finger 
I would say this is more of a cream highlighter more than a liquid highlighter because it's a little bit thick. This is why I don't like cream highlighters because I just find them so hard to blend out. But I'm going to try to use my beauty blender. Seeing it dries super fast so then like I can't even blend this out even with the beauty blender. It's kind of patchy. It can definitely work. It can. It's definitely a subtle like sheen highlighter too. Liquid highlighters are just not for me. And the Cover FX liquid highlighter that's an actual liquid, not a cream. I use that just mixed in with my foundation. I don't use it as a highlighter because I'm just really horrible at blending out liquid and cream highlighters. I'd rather just use a powder and blend it out with my damp beauty blender. That's the easiest way for me. If you're good with liquid or cream highlighters, then maybe you'll like this, but I didn't. Alright, moving on to the brows. The next product in the box is this, the Brow Gal, the Instant Brown Hair 02 Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. Has a very, very small applicator. But let's just try this out. Ooh, I'm going to have to put this in my purse. Because this is a good on-the-go brow gel because it actually looks pretty dark. This looks like the color I would normally wear. A little bit lighter, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, the shape looks bad because I didn't think it would actually turn out this dark. But I'm going to conceal it and it's going to look cute. I kind of laughed at how small this bully was, but it makes it a lot easier to shape your brows. It can get a little bit messy. Um, I would... <laughs> definitely need to bring my concealer but as far as a tinted gel i think it works really well and it dries pretty fast too this retails for 22 dollars yeah if you want that more natural brow look this is definitely um something that you can use i just have really weird eyebrows that i feel like i need to conceal them see i think this brow looks really nice um except for the top part <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit more, see if I can fix it. The thing I like about this is it's definitely buildable. It doesn't dry so hard to the fact where you can't add more product on top, um, like the Wonder Brow. Once Wonder Brow dries, you can't move it, you can't add more product. It's just there, it's just stuck. But this, you can definitely add more product and build it up if you wanted to. I don't know how long I've been trying to do my brows for, but they're just not working out. Like, they do not look the best. This sticks more to areas where you have hair. So you see how on this side of my brow, um, the product is not catching right there because I don't really have hair there. Usually I like to go a little bit higher than my actual brows with dip brow. But with this, because it sticks better when there's hair, I can't really get it to go above. And if I do, it's a lot lighter than the rest of my brows. Also, I like my brows a little bit longer than this. But like I said, because I don't have hair down here, it's harder to get that product to stick. I know some people with really good brows already, as it is. And if they just wanted to make their, their brows a little bit darker, this would work for them. But for people like me, who like to have their brows really clean and crisp and longer I don't think you would like this just because it just takes a long time it's not as efficient I feel like using dip brow I would have been done with my brows by now and I don't like how these turned out they're not you know I would probably bring my brows up to here with dip brow but yeah not my favorite product but definitely a good product if you're on the go and you don't have any brushes with you or any dip brow like if you're in the car and you're in a rush or if you have natural brows like the feathery type of brows this would be a really really good product for you because you already have nice shaped brows and you just want to make it darker you can just go ahead and go over it lightly okay i'm gonna have you guys zoomed in for the rest of this video because see that the sun's coming the sun's coming down so the line is gonna be a little bit weird but we're almost done with the video. The next product in the box is this high definition liquid lipstick by Adesse. Adesse, New York? Adesse? I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, we're gonna see 
what color this is. This is $24 and it's a full coverage lipstick, cruelty free, gluten free, paraben free, EU compliance. This is what the box looks like. And this is what the lipstick looks like. I love these kinds of applicators. Just makes it a lot easier to apply it to my lips. It smells like candy, like cinnamon kind of. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, this lighting is just no bueno. No bueno. There, there you go. <laughs> It's a very pink mauve kind of color and it has a very nice gloss. It's a little bit sticky but smooth at the same time if that makes sense. Like you can um, rub your lips together and it won't ruin the gloss. It's still very opaque. Okay, last thing in the box is this ColourPop Cosmetics Semi-Precious Eyeshadow Palette. Which is awesome because I love ColourPop. And this packaging though is so cute has the colors in the back and the names of them. And this retails for $26. It's the Valentina's Save. It has two, four, six, eight colors, and each color has two grams of product. So they're all shimmery colors, which are not very ideal for on the go because I don't like to put shimmery colors in my crease, especially since I have a hooded lid it'll make my eyes appear a little bit more flat, if that makes sense. So I usually like to put a darker matte shade in my crease and a lighter or shimmery shade on my lid. Um, these are perfect eyelid shades. I'm just gonna swatch these for you guys so you can see what they look like. And then I'm gonna try some of these on my lids. I don't know which ones yet. Super creamy, which is always good. And almost no fallout. Okay, the sun. Is being super stupid right now. Hey, so we are in a different location because the lighting in my room was just being stupid. The sun's going down, so I'm in my kitchen. These are the swatches. It turned out super pigmented on my skin tone, which is what I love. But I feel like eyeshadow always turns out better when I swatch them on my arm. So I tried most of the colors out on my lids. I think the only color I didn't use was the blue. I did put two brown shades in my crease from the 15D Day Slayer palette from Morphe brushes and on the outer third of my bottom lash line. This side I just did dry regular with my fingers. This side looks a little bit more dotty. I used a wet brush for this side and I didn't notice a big difference in terms of pigment but it did show up a lot smoother on this side. Those are all the products in the box. This is the final look. I'm sorry the lighting kept changing and now I have to move to my kitchen, but that's just the price I have to pay when I live in a shitty location with shitty lighting. I think the winner of this month's box would either have to be the Dr. Brandt Pore Minimizing Face Mask or the lip gloss. The eyeshadow palette's not bad, it's just not like wowing to me, you know? And, and then the brow gel was not for me. I mean, my brows don't look that bad, but I like them to be a little bit more cleaned up and crisp. Oh, and the highlighter. That was a no-go for me. I did not like the highlighter. If you like cream or liquid highlighters, <laughs> you go, girl. Look, where's my highlight? Where is it? Like you can see, it's very subtle, it looks pretty, but I like a little bit more. If you're more on the natural side, if you're a natural gal, I think you would like the highlighter and the brow gel, but I am not a natural girl. I like to be bold. I like to be fierce. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, even though it was kind of all over the place, but you know, what video of mine isn't? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment down below which ones were your favorite items. If you got the same items in your box and if you liked or disliked a product that I did or didn't, feel free to share this video if you like. And if you want to collaborate or work with me on a video or Instagram, or any social media, just hit me up, hit my DMs, email me. I'm always down to work and collaborate with 
people and brands and anyone pretty much. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!